Arachnophobia is a 1990 horror comedy directed by Frank Marshall, starring Jeff Daniels, Julian Sands, Harley Jane Cusack, and John Goodman. And it's about killer spiders. I love this movie. Like, one of my favorite movies of all time, or favorite horror movies. And this movie is a great example of practical effects and that animal killer movies don't have to be, you know, giant uh, killer spiders. Or, you know, like giant bug creatures or whatever. Just, of course, it's a little, you know, it has to be a little unrealistic. Like this uh, giant Brazilian spider meets with, you know, just like a normal tarantula and has all these babies because you know it's two different species like that wouldn't actually meet but uh no it's like a small town horror movie this is definitely a throwback to like something like the blob or just like what i mean by that is you know it happens in a small country town it focuses on one character trying to deal with this problem and uh Jeff Daniels, who's one of my favorite actors. I mean, he really is. He's one where the more I see him in stuff, the more I'm like, okay, this this guy can fucking go places. And it's amazing because he'll go from something like Terms of Endearment to this, to Dumb and Dumber, and then back to something dramatic or horror-filled. And then to Speed. This man has range and it is incredible. But he plays this doctor who moves to this small town in the middle of nowhere with his wife. And uh, he's promised to be the next doctor because the uh, current doctor's super old. And he wants to retire and uh, give his practice to Jeff Daniels. Well, it turns out he's like, no, I changed my mind. Uh, when you retire, the next thing an old, for an old person to do is die. And I'm not ready yet. Sorry, you're screwed. So they spent all this money, and it is like a kick in the pants to Jeff Daniels, because he doesn't know what to do. You know, he's stuck in this kind of... They sunk all their money moving here, and he doesn't know what to do. So all the town kind of feel bad for him, and they have this giant kind of a good luck party, or like, say hi to the new doctor, Ross Jennings. And so everyone's there, so they're all kind of helping out, giving him these little uh, jobs. And so one of the big things is, of course, he has arachnophobia. He's absolutely scared of spiders. And they have a barn on their property, and that's unknown to them. That's where the spider goes, mates, and... Uh, has the egg sack. So how it got there. So at the very beginning. Julian Sands plays this professor. They go to Brazil. His cameraman. Uh, gets bit by the spider. And dies. And they bury in the spider. Hides in his clothes. So they. Uh, put him in the coffin with him. And then they ship him down. And it turns out he's from the town. That uh. Jeff Daniels works at right now. So that's how the spider gets released and it starts multiplying and people start dying slowly. And he's trying to figure out is it a spider? Like, what's going on? And so then it's this cool little thing where you got him, the sheriff, uh, John Goodman, who's one of his best performances, plays Dwight. This, uh, exterminator and they're trying to figure out oh and uh julian sands the professor are trying to figure out if these spiders are real and how dangerous are they and just trying to go through the town and it's a really funny cynical movie okay jeff daniels is very cynical he hates when people look down to him he's like i'm just as good as you and you're just as good as me and he definitely has this chip on his shoulder because the town rejects him at first. But a lot, or most, I, let me rephrase that, half the town rejects him at first because, like, well, we've had the same doctor for, like, 
the last 40 years, why do we need you? And, you know, he plays a little Boy Cried Wolf again. Just kind of like, oh, there's spiders, like, we got this really fucking serious, and everyone's like, yeah, calm down. But then they start, but they, that only happens for like seven minutes, or they're like, uh, it's not the whole movie. And then they're like, okay, no, you're right, it's spiders. And so then they're, they're digging through, working together, trying to find out. And they do a lot of funny little, uh, kind of egg, or, uh, seeds. They plant seeds. So, like, jokes that pay off or plot ideas that come full circle or have something to do. Like, he's a big wine collector. He really likes wine. So, he builds a wine cellar. And that's where one of the uh, nests are. So, they go through. So, when the final confrontation happens and he's throwing, like, bottles of wine to start a fire. They do a little where he's picking and choosing which bottle he wants to throw. It's like, I'll take this, you son of a bitch. Uh, Oh, uh, not the Chardonnay, that's, that's too good. And then he picks up, like, another bottle, and he's, like, kind of maneuvering which rack he wants to throw onto the spiders and which one not to. And it is really funny. Like, this is 100% a fantastic movie. Go check it out.